Oh, here comes an airdrop. What the hell? Oh! That scared me. Hello everyone, this is Dez from Dez Does Gaming, and welcome to a new episode of 7 Days to Die. We are on the morning of day 19. I spent the night down in the cave underneath here. I did finish up all the remaining lead that was in that cave down there that I had started. Only got about 500, 600 lead from that, and uh, I do have a path that... Hey, if I can try to show on a map here, let's see, where is my horde base? I have a like a path that goes out uh, about even with my horde base and then breaks north. Uh, I'm taking it almost up underneath the water tower here on the side here. So trying to find another set of ore underneath the ground, trying to find some more minerals to mine out. Um, but yeah, I did that for the night and I got a bunch of stone from it. I put a large chunk of the stone into the forge. We're smelting that in so that we can get some stone in here. We're going to make some more cement. All right, so if you watched the last episode, you saw that my time was cut a bit short. Once I finally made it to the trader, I was able to turn in the quests that I had completed, uh, at least for that one trader, and I did not get a chance to sell anything yet. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these items and go to the trader and sell them. Uh, and then pick up a new quest at the South Trader and turn in the North Trader quest as well. So we got all of our trader supplies in here. I do have some uh, repair kits because I have another mission for today as well. Uh, what I'm going to do today, after I finish my business with the traders, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I need to grab the money. I didn't grab the money and bring it with you. That would have been a travesty. I'm going to finish with the traders and then I'm going to head north. Because I was looking at the map, and I'm just running in circles here, apparently. So that's... Come on. Climb the ladder. There you go. Okay. Uh, I was looking at my map here. And if you look at my my position that appears right up here, I'm in like 2400 south. So I'm in like the damn near bottom of the map. There's not much more underneath me that can be uncovered before I get into the radiation zone. That probably starts somewhere right around here. I think it's usually right around 4,000 where that radiation zone starts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head north because the north for me is largely undiscovered. I don't even remember what I did up here. Oh, that's when I took that long path up and I found that town there. But anyway, I'm going to head north. Uh, I'm going to go up to this uh, south trader first and hit the north trader and then just go north from there. What I desperately need to find at this point is a desert biome because in the desert biome we have oil shell oil shale and i need that oil shale in order to i'm just still running circles here and forgetting that money to make gasoline to make molotov cocktails and things of that nature so yeah gonna be really important to have all right let's uh get down here and get going instead of talking and flapping our gums let's just go do it oh i forgot to take this frames out of the way that's fine here we go All right, so the first place we want to go is the South Trader. Quick waypoint there. Uh, south Trader is going to be to the south. There it is. Oh, and one thing I didn't think about is my gasoline. Jeez, I'm already at 53%. Okay, yes, I am back at base. I am wasting a bit of time here, but I'm doing something that's going to be essential, I think. Uh, I need to grab my wrench and bring it with me. Uh, do I have any more gasoline? Oh, I do have some gas in here now. Let me just bring that gas with me, and I'm going to bring my wrench just in case I decide that I want to start scrapping some more cars and getting some gas that way. All right. Now we can head to the South Trader. Uh, we got plenty of gas on us at this point, so we're going to be perfectly fine as far as that goes. I forgot that I still had more gas in there. All right. Here we are approaching the South Trader. Uh, if you recall, at the end of the last episode, we were trying to take care of our business here, and then it got too late, and he kicked us out. Very, very rude indeed. But I guess he's got to do what he's got to do. So let's get in here. We need to sell the things we have on us, and we need to pick a new quest. All right, so let's do that first. So all of the inventory I want to sell are these two rows right here, I believe. Yes. All right, so let's sell this stuff and uh, get going. He doesn't want to buy iron knuckles from me? Why not? 
Oh, I'm not interested. Well, but why? I keep my gas. Okay, so we got just under 1,500, 15,000 dukes. Um, he does not want to buy the knuckles. Okay, we'll try the other trader to see what he does. Uh, let's take a quick look at his inventory and see what all he has available. Uh, let's go to the stash first. Specifically, the thing that I want besides books, I'm going to take a look at these books here in a second, is I want to find baseball bat parts. There's an M60 machine gun right there for 3800 do I want to buy that? I, I don't think I do just yet. Oh, that is such a good find, though. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. The M60 is such a good find. He restocks on day 22, so it'll be here until then. It's day 19 right now. Okay. Uh, Fireman's Almanac. Um, craft fireman helmets and take 5% less damage. I don't really need that, but let's see. Uh, this is Thief Adrenaline Night. Adrenaline is rushing. You'll never feel the weight of your burn. Never encumbered at night. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to definitely buy that one. Uh, I'm going to buy this one here, too, just because we have the money and because it's going to be getting me one closer, one step closer to completing that set. All right, so nothing else in Secret Stash. Let's go through the rest of this real quick. We'll always buy gunpowder. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and buy these bullet tips off of him, too. That's only 900. Okay, I guess that's everything. All right, so we still got just under 12,000 dukes left. We got a couple of decent books here. Safe travels. Let's go ahead and pick a couple of, or let's go ahead and pick a new quest for him. We're in the south, so anything north would be great. Here's a tier two fetch quest that's five, almost 600 meters north. Really that should be somewhere right in town, right? And that's what you the man. Let's see where that's at. Yeah, right there in the middle of town, not too far from base. That's very nice, very nice. Okay, uh, we are going to read these books real quick. Let's use that and use that. Uh, we've got our other supplies in here and ready to rock. Now we're gonna head to the North Trader. And we're just gonna see if we can't sell that last pair of iron knuckles that are for like three or four hundred dukes. And then we are going to see if he has any baseball that parts. I think I choose the most difficult paths possible to get to these traders. There's got to be better ways, but I just don't feel like messing with that. I usually just go for a straight shot. But anyway, we are here. Uh, it did take quite a while to get up here, so we're burning daylight. I don't like that. I like to be as efficient as possible with my available time. But it is what it is. I did want to get back up here and turn this quest and check his inventory as well. Thank you, Survivor. All right, my so first aid kits or leather gloves. I guess the first aid kits, right? I really have no need for leather gloves. All right. Jobs, anything south of where I'm currently at. Uh, tier 2 clear zombies. Looks like it may be my best bet. That's probably going to be down near the other trader if I am guessing correctly. Let's check that out. Let's see Let's if I'm close to being right. Rolling. Is that it right there? That's probably going to be it right there. And the, the other trader quest is going to be this one right in here probably. Okay. Let's check this guy's inventory. And see here. Let's go ahead and sell these first. Sell those. Yeah, you'll take them. All right. Oh, I just got a level. I got one skill point to spend. Okay, level 25. All right. Uh, good stuff first. Let's see. Anything in here? There's a ranger's guide to archery. Craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. Heck yeah. Let's take that. There's another AK. We don't really need it, though. There's some more bullet tips. We'll go ahead and take these as well. A little bit of gunpowder there. Not much. I'm going to go ahead and buy this cement here, too. I didn't even check the other trader, but for 650 dukes, that's not much at all. All right, so no luck at all with the baseball bat parts, but I don't know if they're even supposed to start spawning yet. I know that they're classified as the late game uh, replacement for the Iron Reinforced Club. Here, let's go ahead and refill this thing. I did get that book in here. Let's go ahead and read that book. Uh, the way we can craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. That's interesting. Uh, we got some decent cement on us. We got a bunch of bullet tips. Uh, okay. So, what I'm going to do now, like I mentioned before, is I'm going to head straight north. Uh, I'm bound to hit a desert at some point. I know I see like a wasteland type over here. 
And maybe if I can get on like one of these hilltops, I can see if anything's up in the north this direction. But we need the north because we need to find a desert somewhere and we need to find some oil shale. I just happened to turn around and see a boar back here on the road. I don't necessarily need the meat, but I do remember seeing the animal challenge that I'm under has uh, only one boar left to kill for it to be complete. So we're going to take care of this boar super quick. There we go. Now that should complete the boar challenge, right? Those guys are getting close to me. Just let me be. Did it not complete that challenge? That'll do, pig? Oh, I thought you were dead. Yeah, it said kill five of five, and now I just gotta talk to the trader. Okay, that's awesome. That's that's good. That'll get that completed. Uh, let's go ahead and take the boar meat. No sense in letting it go to waste, even though I typically shy away from the uh, real meat. I've been sticking to canned goods. All right, now let's get heading north again. Oh, here comes an airdrop. What the hell? Oh! Woo that scared me. I was not expecting that. I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye, but I never did lock onto it. Okay, we'll take those feathers. Um, looks like the airdrop is right over here. That's not too far away from home. Let's save that and just mark it as an airdrop. That way we can come back and get it at a later point. I don't want to go get it right now because I have things I want to do right now. All right, I'm going to see if I can't get on top of this hill and see what I can see. If my mini bike will go up here, it may be too steep. All right, just want to get the lay of the land up here. There's a wasteland that looks like a desert way back in the distance there. Yeah, there it is. There's some kind of a town here in the wasteland, though. We could probably take a drive through it. Okay, where's this fire, dat, fire guy at? Here, we'll get him in a minute. So yeah, back there in the far distance is the desert. And that's where I want to be. Does the desert wrap over here too? Alright, let me take care of this guy before I uh, end up getting distracted. Might be a little bit closer to home if I go over here, if that is desert. Okay, let's uh, let's go exploring. Some grass and some cloth out of the car here. I'm really hoping I can find an auger at some point because an auger would be immensely helpful. I can't even search this one. For digging up the ore, for digging up the uh, dirt and the clay and all that good stuff. All the things that I'm going to need more and more of as this series progresses. Now, do I want to go north to where I know I definitely saw, or do I want to try to go west to see if there's something over that way? That's probably just part of that same town that I saw there, isn't it? I'm going to just keep going north. There's another buzzard. Oh, wow, he just like... <laughs> that was amazing! Oh, you're not dead, though. You just like did like a dive bomb. What is wrong with you? Your neck's all stretched out. That was funny as crap. Here, let's go ahead and get this thing. Get the feathers. Another quick 30 feathers. That was amazing. I'm going to have to take a look at that clip when I go back to edit. That was pretty funny. Well, damn. How far away is this desert? Okay. It appears we are now officially in the desert. Ooh, and I'm going to be getting hot. Oh, I didn't even think about weather. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm just going to go down and take a look at this house to see if it's anywhere near worthy for, like, a mini base. Uh, let's go ahead and try to clear it real quick. Hearing a lot of moving. Here's this dude. Well, here. If it's just him. I can take care of him with the club and save my ammo. There's a sports bag back there. We'll loot this place here in a minute. Were you knocking, Sylvia? I don't guess you were knocking. I don't think you were activated yet. What is this? A little basement area of some sort? Oh, hey! Sorry, Sylvia. Gotta shoot you in the face. 
I just don't know what to expect down here. Oh, crawler trying to sneak up on me. I don't know what to expect down here, so let's just uh be safe than sorry. Is that it? No, there's something up here trying to bust something up. Why are you messing the place up for? It? All right, there you go. Shoot you in the junk for your trouble. All right. Well, I would like to think this place is cleared at this point. Um, I'm not too cons. Did I hear a snake? Pretty sure I definitely hear a snake, but I don't know where it's at. Oh, here he is. He's trying to climb the steps. He's a smart snake, apparently. All right, he's toast. My first and most important order of business, let's move my mini bike up here to where I can see it a little bit easier, is going to be finding some oil shell deposits. Now, hopefully I can find something close to the house and just use the house as a means of getting to it, but I may not be so lucky. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I've wandered around this immediate area here for a few minutes now. Um, I'm not seeing any oil shell anywhere in this immediate vicinity. So I'm going to just do a bit more exploring. I know I just cleared this house and prepping it to use, and I even found the potassium there. Actually, let me mark that potassium just in case I want to come back to this later. But uh, I'm going to start heading toward the west. Uh, that's where we thought we saw, or at least I thought I saw, more desert area. And maybe while I'm kind of driving that way, maybe we can find uh, another town of sorts, maybe? Uh, maybe some shale deposits somewhere? These things just will not quit, will they? I mean, they're giving me tons of feathers. It works for me. All right, here's something over here. This looks somewhat promising. Some kind of an interesting POI. Uh, see if we can find any sort of an oil shell deposit near here. What am I riding around here? Is this a military base? <gasps> and that's a landmine. Holy shit, I about bought the farm right there. I wasn't even thinking. Holy cow. Let's just inch ourselves away from that military base, shall we? Whoa. Okay. Uh, what are you? Are you lead? Lead out here in the desert, really? Yeah, that's what it is. All right. We don't need lead. We don't need iron at the moment. We need some oil shell. I think that's what this is. Yeah, here we go. Let's move the bike off of it so we can actually mine it. Oh, and check this out. We got some potassium spots right here next to it. Okay. Okay, now this is not bad at all. This is kind of what I had in mind. I think I can at least do some kind of quick fortification to that house right there. And it's already 1900, so I tell you what, and it looks like this is a dungeon-style house. I see the the uh, the uh, the spikes up there. Nothing behind these. All right, let's go clear this house super quick. Uh, only 61 bullets left, but it's what I gotta do to use. I gotta get this thing cleared. Alright, we will loot everything later. That is not the concern right now. The concern is it's 1900, and I want to clear this place before they start running. Come on. Oh! Hey, you're running! You're not even dead yet. Wow, you were fast. Did you see how fast that guy was? I think this place is done. It's not the most secure place, but you know what? We can knock out the steps. We can make it defensible for ourselves. Um, let's check out this medical pile over here. Yeah, whatever. I'll clean up my inventory in a little bit. 
I'm gonna do a real quick loot of this place, see what all it has to offer. And then we're gonna lock it down. A couple of books I've already, oh, my inventory's full. A little bit of food. There's some vitamins. Uh, what can I get rid of for the vitamins? Okay, I think that is pretty much it for the looting. What is that, sand or something? Alright, so I guess we're going to just set up shop here for the night. Where's my bike at? Back here by the things? Um, I'm going to go ahead and chop out these traps here. Just because I want to be able to use this door. And these traps are only going to slow me down, not necessarily the zombies so much, because the zombies will just come in the front door. Alright, got that opened up. There's a zombie in the distance over there. Alright, so let's just take a quick look at it, shall we? Uh, let me clear this guy out of here real quick. Alright, so we have three different potassium deposits here. Uh, it looks like at least two oil shell deposits here. Which I'm sure are all connected underneath the ground and whatnot, but still, it's nice to have them. Here's a third one back here. This is a pretty freaking awesome little spot. What's happening? Oh, cactus. <laughs> Alright, that's good enough. I don't need to have everything in there. Alright, so... I ran over that cactus again. I'm a genius. Yeah, so here's the oil shell. Um, I'm not going to actually start the mine at this point because there's really no sense in it. Uh, let's pull my bike up here a little bit closer to the house. There we go. And before 2200 hits and they start running, I need to knock out some of these stairs here. All right, that'll be good enough for that. Uh, the rest of this is all set, right? Got a nice little balcony. I didn't search out here. There's some more brass. Oh, you know what? That goes to a roof. Let's go see what's up here. Oh, is there any zombies up here? Oh, there's a bird. Boom. Very nice. All right, zombies are now running. We have one more little piece of the stash that's up here. Looks like some honey and whatever's in this chest. Okay. Level three double barrel, uh, barbed wire mod, iron chest armor, <gasps> baseball bat parts. Ooh, okay. I think I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Uh, baseball bat, uh, it requires 10 parts and 20 forged steel. Wow. I can get forged steel, that's not a problem. But man, coming up with another seven baseball bat parts, that's a tall order. Whoa, went kind of quick there. Yeah, here's a little something else over here. What is this, medical supplies? Some more vitamins and I think some grain alcohol is what that was. All right, just looking at the map here, we did make our way down a little bit south. Uh, let's see, we are currently 2.2 kilometers from the trader and we're currently three kilometers from home. So we are a good distance from home. I wonder if this road will continue on and connect up to this town we saw. That's a possibility. All right, so I tell you what, I'm gonna end this episode here. I may do a little work off camera overnight, just kind of setting things up. But uh, other than that, there's not gonna be much of anything going on. I'm safe and secure up here. Um, so yeah, if you like what you see and you wanna see more, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Uh, be sure to leave me some comments down below. Any suggestions for the way I should take this series or things I should try to do next? I'd love to hear your input. But thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate all the views and the comments and everything that you guys offer. Thank you so much. Uh, until next time, we'll see you soon. Later.